there this is your reading with me for december love 2021 i hope you are doing well all right so let's have a look and see what is coming through gemini i hope you are doing well all right so let's take a look and see this just has written on it which star sign is next because sometimes it gets a little complicated so i'm just going to put that right here <laughs> i just have that there all right so Gemini, we are going to take a look and see what's happening. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Geminis. Also, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. Um, I also have private paid reading information down below as well if anyone would like one of those with me. They're done within 12 to 24 hours with me and the last thing I wanted to mention is intention manifesting items are on my website which thousands of people have seen results with as well. Um, there's, you know, bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards which you can put under your pillow your wallet or your purse and there's crystals candles sage the review section is at the bottom of my website which is shopmoonlightguidance.com all right so let's begin gemini and see what's coming through okay <laughs> I, I feel good i feel really really good um energy seems very high in this reading so i think that's beautiful okay i'm gonna get my message cards out as well so this is a love reading Got the, ooh, Knight of Pentacles coming your way. Strong Earth energy. Speaking of Earth energy, you've got Virgo here as well. Okay, some of you may be dealing with a Virgo. You may have a Virgo that approaches you. Um, if not, you know, what the Virgo energy also symbolizes is there's someone that's overthinking a lot about you as well. And this is a person that I see on the other side. Now, you know, you might be thinking, but Moonlight, I overthink as well. Yeah, sure, you may, but for sure I definitely pick up on the fact that someone here is overthinking in regards to you. So even though you might be overthinking, I, I definitely feel here that there is a very, very significant person, significant energy that thinks a lot about you as well. And they really honestly cannot stop thinking about you from what I'm picking up on. I mean, it's so obvious here that they are dreaming about you, thinking about you, getting signs and synchronicities. So for some of you, even on your side, you may think to yourself, but Moonlight, I get signs and synchronicities too. Well, it's interesting how it's going in parallel, right? So in December, you're going to feel very heightened in terms of your soul's journey. You're going to feel like you're seeing a lot of dreams. Your imagination is running wild. Spiritually, you can feel a lot of energies. You may even feel like you're telepathically communicating with people here and there, or that your intuition is so strong that you feel like something's going to happen and then boom, it happens. So definitely pay attention to that energy. That energy, everything I mentioned there is to do with Neptune. Neptune is the, the planet of spirituality. You know how you have a planet of love, you have a planet of war, which is Mars. Um, you have um, a planet of communication, which is Mercury. We have a planet of spirituality and that is Neptune. And on the 1st of December, Neptune actually went direct. It went from being in retrograde to direct. And that's why so many of these things that were once suppressed are coming into people's minds where they're no longer suppressing things. Isn't that so interesting? So we see here someone really thinking about you, whereas maybe before December, they were not thinking as heavily about you. Or maybe they were thinking about you, but not really doing so much towards you, you know? It varies from person to person. But what, what I will say that goes across the board with Geminis is now they're starting to understand and value your energy. Oh, yes. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Yep, okay, so Neptune's also tied to Pisces. Like, the Pisces sun, well, no, sorry, the Pisces star sign, not sun sign, Pi Pisces star sign is actually connected to Neptune. It's the home sign. So you see here why you're feeling so heightened in your intuition, your gut, your feelings. Yeah, nine of cups is a desire that you have on your side as well to have love, to be loved, to feel fulfilled, motivated, and really comfortable as well in love. Not just have anyone, but to actually feel comfortable and feel like it's being reciprocated. And what I see happening in December is this person is thinking so much about you that they're trying to get through any obstacles, challenges, difficulties they're facing, fears, trauma. They're trying to heal a lot of that so that in time they can come towards you. So they're actively trying to get through a lot of their struggles. And so this is a huge change because they're making gains, literally. They're, they're thinking about how they can come forward. They're thinking about what do I need to say? What do I need to do? How do I plan for this? How do I make this happen? Oh yeah, there you go. Hangman is ruled by Neptune. 
Ta-da! <laughs> so we, we did speak about that, so I'm not going to go through the same exact message all over again. But I will say is that there's more peace of mind, a lot more peace of mind, which I think is why they're able to get through their fears and really be able to understand that they want to come towards you, they want to progress towards you, and they want to make things work with you. Queen of Pentacles, they find you very attractive, kind, caring, and genuine. By the way, the Virgo energy... Aside from Gemini, by the way, which Gemini is ruled by Mercury. But you know, Mercury only rules two signs. Mercury, of course, is a planet of communication, like I mentioned. It rules Virgo and Gemini. Isn't it interesting how we picked up the Virgo energy before? So there's a very strong energy here of communication. They want to communicate with you. Suddenly they have something to say, but they're also going to be thinking about what should I say? How should I say it? When should I say it? They're very attracted to you. Okay, whether you're male or female, remember I read energies, not specifically um, genders. Especially in tarot. Um, wow, well, this is one of the biggest changes that is coming into your life because this person who was once suppressing or not really saying much or keeping things to themselves or kind of acting aloof is no longer able to do so. Is no longer able to do so. Some of you may feel very heightened on your side where you feel emotional as well. You feel like, oh my gosh, but Mila, I'm seeing these signs and synchronicities too. It's okay, you got this, but just know as well. Um, continue to practice a, a strong spiritual path. Something like meditation can help to calm those energies as well. Just know that this person is feeling it too, my gosh. And because they were once suppressing, it's even more intense on their side. Yeah, it's coming, okay? For some of you, it's gonna come in December, but for some of you, it's still going to you know, come as time goes by. You'll just feel these energies being so strong to the point where you just can't ignore them. Knight of Wands, look, it's coming. I feel it coming. Do, do I feel it coming? <laughs> I don't know why. That song, um, who sang it? Is it a Daft Punk song? Or The Weeknd? Or is it both? Tell me what you really like. Isn't it that song? That's The Weeknd. Oh, it, I think it, I think both of them are on the song, right? Or is that, that's, that's a different song though. Starboy? I don't know. I, I, I feel it coming. <laughs> okay, now I think I think that is both of their songs. Anyways, that's the kind of vibe I see, you know, where you just feel it. You feel like it's going to come your way. It's coming, okay? It's a bit of a process. You see these three kings, okay? It can't be more obvious than that. Really, you can't. There's a huge change coming, and it is so, so obvious. They are physically super, super attracted to you. They are emotionally feeling like you are the right person for them, and mentally, they're feeling so connected. I mean, you've literally got the king and the queen of pentacles here as well, which are counterpart energies, and you've got so much Virgo. Okay, I can't get over how much Virgo energy we have. This is a lot of like thinking, analyzing, pondering, wondering, contemplating, which yes you can be doing on your side but they are doing it too and they're thinking how do I come forward what do I say what do I have to do they're working through things you're working through things you're both working through things boom ace of cups I still need one more card though so let's keep shuffling okay I also have my mercury edition two cards as well <gasps> Ooh, no way king of swords you've got all four kings there's a big change coming. Uh, that that probably sounds like an understatement, but it's it's not. So is it an understatement? Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to figure out the context of what I just said. Yeah, it is. It is an understatement. It's huge, right? This person really likes you a lot. They're thinking about how to come forward. You've got all four kings, which are the strongest pursuing energies this person is going to come towards you. This is like the biggest change, right? Um, all thanks to our dear friend Neptune over there, who's just, you know, spinning and doing their own thing. Yep. All right, so let's see. Actually, these Mercury Edition 2 cards can be great because remember we mentioned so much Mercury energy. So that's what these are called. And they're like the communication cards. I've been confiding about this connection. I'm telling you, okay? Like they have absolutely been talking to people about whether they should come forward, how they should come forward, what to say, what to do. They're basically in the mode right now of planning. And for some of you, they may come forward, but for a lot of you, they are planning, planning on how to come forward, how to say things, how to do things, what to do, what not to do. That's where they are. I have vulnerability insecurities with you. Yeah, because they do have fears, right? And they have often felt quite 
overwhelmed, but now they're getting through those fears and they're realizing that actually I do need to be vulnerable. Okay, so this one just literally is balancing on my wrist. <laughs> okay, you challenge my beliefs, but in a good way, right? You challenge their beliefs because I feel like this person has had very little love in their life to the point where because you bring so much to the table, even spiritually, when they think about you, they feel like, wow, you bring so much. That's a lot. Is that too much, right? And they start to then overthink. Well, you challenge their beliefs because they don't sometimes feel like they're worthy of having so much and so that makes them feel vulnerable and they have these insecurities and these fears like what if this is too much what if this is too good to be true but they clearly clearly have been talking to somebody close to them in regards to you and the connection they feel with you Whew, gemini if this reading resonates or if you claim it don't don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but also do check out the description box below you know comment down below let me know um all the information is mentioned down there for the intention items which thousands of people have seen results with private paid readings free reading giveaway i do um readings on tiktok and instagram as well every single day so you can follow me on there as well um they're posted on there and i will see you all very soon i mean wow <laughs> bye everyone